Hello, uh, in this video, I will show you how to install and patch Oracle 19C. So this is uh, part two of uh, this series on how to install Oracle 19C in, in Docker. So I have logged in into my Oracle Linux uh, server. So you can see the name, etc. So let me change it to root and I have downloaded the files here. So I will use these files to create an Oracle database from RPMs. So something very important, you must install libnsl. And I will put all the uh, commands I'm typing in my uh, uh, GitHub. So let me show you my GitHub account. So, all right. So you see, this is my GitHub account and all the scripts I've been, uh, uh, all the steps I've been executing, I'll be putting all of those uh, here. So this Oracle 19C, you will see all the scripts over here. So going back to my terminal, I installed uh, libnsl and uh, there are two RPMs. So m minus y local install compat lib cap and you can uh, google search for this name and you will find uh, that you can download it from CentOS website and another is libstdc++ So with the, those two installed, now I can run the pre-install. This pre-install, and let me show you. Right now, when you look at the folder, you don't see Oracle folder here. But uh, now, after I install the uh, pre-install, RPM, you will see that it does all the uh, preparatory work like uh, creating all the groups and uh, Oracle user, etc. Okay, so that is uh, done. And now let me show you. So you see, there is an Oracle account here and uh, the pre-install RPM must have also created some groups. So you see, all these groups are here now, starting from O install. So now we are ready to install the database itself. So which is this one. So m minus y local install Oracle database enterprise uh, edition. So this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause this uh, video 
and I'll join you back once the process is done. Okay, so now you see that uh, it's successfully installed and uh, we can sudo into the Oracle account and uh, let's run SQL plus and you see that we have version 19.3 installed. So now we will apply patch. So I have two files here. This file is the latest patching software. So let me unzip. All right, and let me change the owner. It's very important that you change the owner of this uh, software before you copy it. And now, see that is Oracle O install. So, let me see if this will allow me to copy from, nope, I have to do one more thing. So let me move this to Oracle's home so that it can uh, access. And uh, let me make sure that the permission is still Oracle and O install. So it is. Now I sudo into Oracle. I go to that folder and I copy the entire file from this directory into the current. In fact, uh, uh, let me show you the difference after we have upgraded the patch. So Okay, so you see that the O patch version is uh, .17. And now I will copy the entire folder, uh, files, all the files from here into Oracle's home. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me check the file permission. Okay. So it is uh, Oracle O install. So let me delete everything from here. And I copy Let me do minus R so that I bring everything. Okay, and I change the ownership to O install, Oracle O install, opt, pro opt Oracle product. Okay, so now let's see. Okay, so now the version is 12.2.0.23. So this will work with the correct uh, the current patch. So now let me go back to where I have the, so this is my patch file. So I unzip it.
Okay, so let me move this. to Oracle's uh, home and again I change owner of uh, the patch files home Oracle 3 okay and now I apply the patch okay so it is applying the patch it will take a few minutes so let me pause this video and I come back when the patching is done welcome back you see that uh, it is successfully patched and now let's check so you see the version now is 19.9.000 it was 19.3 so what we have done so far we have successfully uh, installed Oracle software from RPMs and then we have successfully patched it from 19.3 to 19.9 now the next step is very critical is that you go to this folder and the Oracle software is uh, here and now you issue this command Let me put it in. So this command will create a tar file for the Oracle uh, uh, for the entire Oracle folder, and we will use this file to create the Docker image for Oracle nineteen point nine. So you see that uh, we have this file here that we can we will use uh, for uh, creating the uh, image uh, uh, Docker image for Oracle 19C. And at this point, I want to show you something very important that uh, if you don't pay attention, this can cause you a lot of problems. So you see here for Oracle. Is six uh, the user ID and group ID are six five five three five and six five 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 three five. So we'll later we will have to change this for this thing to work. So now now that we have that uh, tar.gz file, we will create the Docker image. All right. So we are here, and. Uh, in this folder, I have kept all the uh, uh, files that I need. So this is my builder uh, uh, directory. And this is my Docker home for 19.3. And uh, this is the Docker file that we will need to use. And let me go through this file from the top so this is uh, the base is Oracle Linux uh, 7 I tried doing it uh, with 8 did not happen and then this all these variables are from Oracle's uh, what they have recommended okay and uh, this part is what I have modified to use RPMs. So let me. 
So this is, you make a folder, opt in root, then you add these RPMs file, <coughs> sorry, and, uh, and then here you install them and then clean and then change the uh, folder ownership to oinstall. And over here, this is the uh, step that we take the old Oracle home, the entire tar file that we had created in the previous uh, step and copy it to the opt folder. So when you copy that, it creates all that, uh, 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 all the files over there. And this is to create the wallet file that we will use later for uh, creating Oracle uh, uh, TDE, trans transparent, transparent uh, encryption. So with this, now let me start the command. And this is, I'm following Oracle's uh, 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 method. I have just modified it to work this with, so that this works with RPM. Oops. Oops, there's, uh, there's one more uh, file that I need to have here. Let me move it. Okay, so it should, oops, I have, I need to put this in this. Okay, so now this will work. When the image is built, it will be under this name. So you see that it uh, successfully built this uh, image. And let's go inside this image to see So the best thing to do is to run the bash command from the image. So this is uh, Oracle Linux. Let's see the variables. Okay, so let's run SQL plus. And you see that this image is 19.9.0.0.0 and let's look at the size of this uh, image okay so this is the one we created just now is 9.3 gigabytes. All right, thank you. Now we'll go to part three, where I'll show you how to create uh, transparent uh, data in database encryption, uh, SSL and uh, table spaces. Thank you, see you soon.